everyone, it's Jaden. Welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who have not been here, welcome. And those who are subscribed to me, welcome back. Um, so it's been a while since I've been regularly uploading videos. I've recently uh, gotten back to it because now that I have a little bit more space again, I could um, focus more on my YouTube. So um, I'm coming to you today with another video on the health crash recovery. Um, that is definitely the number one topic on my channel right now. So I will continue to create these videos. I can see that it's very helpful for a lot of you guys. Um, it, it has been a huge part of my life a few years back. Um, as those of you who know, who have been following me, um, there was a point in my uh, life where I was under so much stress for so long and something had to break and it was me, uh, my mental health and my physical health at the same time. Um, and it came in a form of uh, adrenal anxiety, just like total health meltdown. Um, I have posted many, many videos for those of you who have just started tuning into my channel. Um, you can definitely find those on my playlists. Um, today's video, however, I want to revisit, um, which I haven't done in a quite a long time, the moment that I had my crash, my original crash that sent me into the depth of dark times for me. Um, probably one of the, if not the darkest time of my life. Uh, I've done a few videos on this, but I get so many requests and I know there's new subscribers and people don't tend to, you know, want to browse through. Um, so make it things easier. I'm going to revisit it. And this time I will add in more details. Um, so for those of you who have seen my other videos, you can uh, maybe get some more insights on what I went through um, for relatability reasons, for support reasons, for um, reassurance reasons. Um, or just pure entertainment. Uh, I'm definitely not a doctor or a therapist or a nurse, so please uh, consult with your health professional before you take on any health advice or um, really take do your research um, if you are trying to recover from this. I know a lot of you do find my videos helpful, um, but I just always want to make it clear that I'm not a you know licensed doctor, therapist, or anyone who's trying to diagnose you or treat you for any type of uh, medical condition. Um, okay, so that being said, I will go ahead and uh, get started on the topic today. So when it happened, um, it there was a few parts to it, but it was in, within one day that the big major crash uh, that happened to me. So earlier that day, I was on my very routine in my basic routine where I go to a cafe and I get my matcha, which is green tea, uh, oat milk matcha latte iced. I always get that. And I just was having a normal day, which is very hectic, very busy, both in my head and physically. Um, I do a lot. Um, I have multiple businesses. I, at the time I was still doing uh, my acting, which I've done um, for many, many years as a commercial actor, uh, TV and film, um, and as well as running um, a fitness business, and I was venturing into other businesses. Um, and my grandfather, who was uh, what I was, who I was very close to, had passed away. Uh, I had got a second dog, um, and I was single, and. I um, just just had so much on my plate, and I was going through a time where uh, things were tough in almost all areas of my life. So, and then the new doggy Thor, um, you know, I wasn't sleeping because he was whining at night, and uh, I was doing it all on my own. And with all the tragic thing with my grandfather and everything, uh, stress from works, uh, stress for career. I just, it was just too much. And I've been holding that for years and years up to it. On top of that, I have a natural um, kind of hyper personality anyways, like overachieving perfectionist, uh, perfectionist. And 
I was also on like all kinds of like fitness diets. Um, just because I'm an extremist before. And I was like, for lack of a better term, like I was stretching myself super, super thin. And so this had been going on for, like I said, years and years. And I, I think my survival system and my adrenal system and my nervous system have just, I maybe I was blessed with a very strong one. So I just kept this up. Um, and it was just, I would just like be in survival mode all the time. And finally this day happened. And so I was having my matcha latte at the coffee shop and I was doing my computer work and I suddenly started feeling this anxious feeling that I've, I've never felt before in that same way where like, I, I've obviously been anxious through my life, but it was this like anxiousness where I felt like it wasn't matching what was going on. It was like the, what I was experiencing in that moment was too calm to, for me to feel that anxious inside and that hyper and that like adrenaline, like rush and also like borderline panic attack feeling, right? And I couldn't shake it off of me. Like no matter how much I was like deep breathing, I was just like, something's not right. Something else. Not right. I just kept telling myself that. So that was earlier in the day. And I went through that whole day feeling that way. I just couldn't shake this like anxious feeling. And I was doing calm things. I was doing relaxing things. And I just couldn't shake this feeling. Um, so I decided to ignore it, which I'm very good at. I'm very good at ignoring you know, stress because I just have a strong will and I was just like, okay, I'm going to go on with my day. Just like I lived my life up to that point where I was just like, no matter what, I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to push through it. Um, and again, I try to push through it and I push through so many things in my life, guys. Like I, you know, I'm not going to get into detail because this is the internet. I'm not going to tell the world like all the detailed things and all the fucked up shit that I've gone through in my life, but I've gone through a lot. And um, I'm not saying I have the hardest life or the easiest life, but I will say that I have had a very challenging life. Um, many circumstances, um, circumstances that have been presented to me that were challenging. Um, and and I, all I would do is I would just keep pushing through and never like stop and be nice to myself and never just like stop and take care of myself and never just like stop and say, you know, Jaden, you are good now. Like, you don't need to achieve another thing. You don't need to get another award, another trophy, another gold star, another... Like, you're good, like, as you are. You don't need to get any more ripped. You don't need to get any more successful. You don't need to have, you know, whatever it is. I was not good at that before. So I just kept going. Like, I just kept pushing myself. Like, you need more. You need this. You need to achieve this. And... um you know, you need to just this need, 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 must do. Um, I just pushed through it. And that day when it was happening, when I finally, my body was like, you just are not going to do this anymore, Jaden. We are going to give you a very big warning sign, which <laughs> lasted two years. Uh, but of course, that day I didn't know that was going to happen yet. So I was just pushing through it. And I remember... I was like trying to ignore it, so I decided to go to a action film, um, one of the Marvel series films. And I remember going to the film, and I was I I I'm, I was very excited for the movie, but I just couldn't enjoy it because it was just this underlying, like something's wrong with me feeling that I couldn't shake. And I watched the movie; it didn't make me feel any better. In fact, it freak like it just exacerbated everything I was going through because it was like an action film with tons of lights tons of you know images and I was like okay something is wrong with me um and I tried to go to sleep and I had my first full-on panic attack multiple panic attacks that night and bursts of symptoms you know the hyperventilating, 
the heart pounding, the tremors, the shaking, the can't control, like can't calm myself down, uh, like, uh, like feeling like I wanted to run because I, I was like so hyper on the inside, but like on the outside, it was kind of like, like fatigued and I just, it was so hard to go through it. It's actually really hard to explain it because it's so complex, but it was X, it's even harder to have gone through at a time. Um, and for lack of better description, that's why I use it on my channel all the time. I f fucking crashed. I just like had this meltdown and no matter how hard I remember, I was trying to like calm myself down, trying to breathe. Just nothing was working. And I felt like this like weird, anxious, like numbing sensation, like everywhere. Um, and I would just like, I remember I would like try to like, just close my eyes, like it'll go away. And then it just didn't. And I, it just continued to get worse throughout the night. So I had to like finally go check myself in to the emergency room. Cause I thought maybe I'm having a heart attack. Like, cause I was having the aches over my chest on the left side and all the stuff that comes with anxiety, panic attacks, uh, adrenal crashes. But I didn't know at the time what it was. So I was just like, okay, I'm something's wrong with me. I'm going to like die. So, and of course I go to the doctor, I check the heart, they check the heart, they do all that stuff, basic stuff. And nothing was really wrong with me. And, you know, they're just like, you know, you're just like too stressed out. Um, just like try to calm down and I guess just go home, try to calm down. Um, and of course that was not happening. So this last and it got worse. This is the beginning of my phase one that I always talk about on my channel. And I, it, it catapulted it into this like weeks of not sleeping, massive symptoms, which I've covered in a lot of my videos and just like, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't eat. Like my blood sugar levels were just going out of whack. I felt like so insane. Like I, I just was like, what is wrong with me? I had to like crawl to the bathroom. I couldn't even get out of bed. And the worst part of, a, of all was I didn't have any family or like close friends that I dared to call and help me because I was like embarrassed or I didn't want to bother my friends. Um, and I didn't definitely didn't have family near who could, you know, help me and take care of me at a time. Um, and then I had two dogs to take care of on top of that. I mean, it was hard guys, as I've mentioned in many other videos before. And so I, my heart goes out to those of you who are going through it. I know so many of you have watched my videos and reached out. At the time, I did not have anyone I could like research on YouTube. Like at the time, it was still very new, this whole adrenal um, anxiety, HP access to function, whatever name you want to call it. It's definitely stress induced, definitely has to do with pushing yourself in all sorts of ways, like physically, diet wise, nutrition wise, mentally, just everything. So, um, but the one thing I will say, it is chronic stress induced. Uh, and I just, you know, I got through the first few weeks, just hang on by my fingernails, like clinging on to the edge of sanity. And I just, I had to take it one moment at a time, I guess. Um, I was forced to. There was nights where I just like, you know, like nocturnal panic attack symptoms where like every time I fall asleep, which would be like every 20 minutes, I would just <gasps> like come back awake in a panic attack. And this would repeat throughout the night. And then throughout the next day, I like have no sleep. Um, I mean, I was really fortunate. I think I didn't have to work. I had a really good... Uh, residual income from my commercials that I had booked and worked. So I was able at that time to just not work and just had to call it quits on everything else other than just lay in bed. Um, as you know, in phase one, like you can't eat anything right. Like it's either, it, it either makes you feel like shit or you don't have appetite or you have an appetite and you eat it and your blood sugar goes through the roof and you get those like panic attack feelings, the jitter. Oh, and then the trembling all the time, trembling, tingling, um, shaking, and it was freaking me out. And so it led into the health anxiety that comes with it, where you're just obsessed over like every symptom. 
especially the heart related symptoms and then the shaking symptoms because those are like leading those are like in common with those like really deadly scary diseases and illnesses so that like you just you just go into this <laughs> panic mode um which doesn't help because you already are in a panic mode and it's just this like collateral damage downward spiral um and it was hard to manage and i don't I, I honestly like people ask me that i do my video zoom consultations with like how did you do it on your own how you i honestly don't know i just like hung on to it one fucking second at a time like i am not over exaggerating when i say it was that harsh and that intense um those of you who are going through it or who have gone through it knows how intense this can be um, a lot of people that have never had this, a lot of times you tell them or, or, or are trying to like share how difficult it is for you. They seem to think like you just, you know, you just don't know how to chill out or, or, oh, come on, just relax a little. No guys, if you're watching this and you're one of those people who have not experienced it, please have some, you know, like open mind because people who have this it is not a joke and it's not it's not fake it is not a like myth okay maybe it you know the name adrenal fatigue or whatever is not clinically like medically approved or whatever but the term doesn't matter the actual experience or like crash it's real i mean a hundred thousand percent is real um, and it is freaking hard okay so uh don't take it lightly if somebody expresses to you that this is what they're going through it does happen and i'm someone who is totally never i don't want to use the word believe but i just i never paid attention to stuff like that i just i was like such an athlete such a healthy person i just it wasn't in my head that like someone could just suffer from being stressed out, you know? And I certainly did. Um, more than my share and like more bit off more than I could chew. So uh, it's definitely, it's tough guys. And again, I wish I could help more people who are going through this. Every Everyone's experience with this is different. Also, you may not have this exact thing. I don't know. Um, again, I'm not a doctor, but um, yeah, whatever support I can provide on my channel, I'm really happy to do so because I know how difficult and freaking insane it is. Um, and again, this is like, I had that for two years. It took me around 18 months or two years to fully recover. I went through all the phases that I kind of came up with. But really, the concept of the phases I came up with isn't obviously like, it's not a textbook. It's just something I came up with to define the different phases that I went through and the experience. And I kind of narrowed down what I experienced in those timelines. So just for easier delivery and easier um, to understand, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly how it works. It's not, it's not like a literal science. Um, so anyways, I know all that helps and I know that I provide a service just talking to people, consulting with them in like a coaching sense. Again, not in any kind of like I'm prescribing therapy or anything like that, but um, I'm just glad, you know, like I, you know, suffer. I will use that word. I use it very rarely, but I did. I suffered. I fucking suffered from it for a long time, 18 months to two years. And now I'm like three years or so past fully recovered. I hardly really think about it in detail anymore. That's why if you see my videos, I'm not making like a video like this so much because it's painful guys. Like to relive it, to talk about it, it isn't easy um, because it's just so yucky. Like I never would want to really revisit that, those feelings. Um, and I'm I like, I think whatever the higher power is, every day that I don't have that anymore. I don't, you know, have the experience anymore because it lagged and dragged. I, just like you guys who are recovering, I went through all the phases. I went through all the ups and downs. I went through thinking I was fine and then the next moment I was like fucking not fine. Um, and so, 
anyways, I dove into this because I know it it does. I, I think a lot of you guys are writing to me and letting me know that like when I share in this way, it is very um, helpful. Um, it's like you guys know someone else can experience someone else has experienced it and so it kind of lightens the load i totally understand i i think it would have really helped me too i think that's part of the reason why i do it um why i do these videos uh so again like as as always any questions um you can always post them in the comments i will try to get to them i am a very busy guy but i will do my best to get to them you can contact me through my website. You can um, join my Facebook group, Facebook group, which has a lot of support there from different people. Um, my audience is growing. So it's, you know, in the beginning, I had like 300 subscribers or something like that. And it's, you know, a lot easier for me to like directly contact everybody. I had like maybe 10 comments a day. Excuse me. These days are very different and I'm happy that my audience is growing, but, um, I can only read through and respond through so much, but um, I do the best I can. Um, and you can also, if, you, if it really is important to you and it means enough, you can book a session with me on through my website under the offerings tab. Um, I have a way you can reach out and purchase a time with me to talk more in detail on Zoom if you like. Um, I think that's good for this video. I hope all that information, um, you know, help in some way. And, um, you know, it, if you are going through what I went through, it does get better, guys, even though in moments it feels so daunting. It does get better. And it, it does, however, require you to shift your mental state, shift your mindset, shift your lifestyle that is one of the most important things people ask me all the time well what is the the herb or what is the thing that you did to help and i would say 90 percent 90 percent it's because i changed how i related to stress how i related to myself and how i related to living my life and that takes tremendous amount of dedication and commitment because you are literally changing your habits and you know that isn't easy guys so but you're Got to do it because you want to feel better and you want to recover from this. So, and that's certainly a choice that I had, was presented with. You know, I had to make a decision. Like, do I want to heal from this and make a change for the best? Or do I want to continue on doing what I was doing and keep myself in this like really stressed out state? And who knows? It really was a blessing because if it didn't, if the crash didn't happen and it wasn't that intense, I would have never woken up from this momentum that I had going where I was overdoing over everything. Uh, so in a way, it was tough to swallow, but it was actually really good it happened. It woke me up. I changed myself. And my life really has gotten so much better in so many ways because I've changed myself. And I changed myself because that crash happened. So yes, I know, guys, it could be very hard to look at it that way, but try and see the silver lining. It could help and just lessen the stress going through the recovery because I know the recovery is extremely difficult. All right, thanks guys. I appreciate you guys for watching me. And uh, I mean, I am so blessed for my audience and all the great people I've met through this journey. Um, and so please uh, subscribe, like, if you like my content, uh, share it with somebody who you think might help them. And uh, reach out to me in all those uh, ways um, that I've um, said in this video. Um, I hope you are uh, doing well wherever you are. And I appreciate every each and one of you. And I really mean that. And um, I hope to see you guys in my next video. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.